player and an NorCal player, pretty good Arcadian. Like, oh yeah, for sure, very definitely strong. legit. We actually saw him barely lose uh, earlier today uh, to go to get pushed into losers. Uh, I, th I think we mentioned really quickly, but this matchup is for is for a uh, top 32. Whoever wins makes it in top 32. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, since you're the resident Falco aficionado, uh -huh. how do you like going against like Peach in general? So Peach is an interesting one because um, so like ah, it's weird. Like Peach gets to control what phase of the game you're in. That's the way that I like to think about it. So thank you. Uh, so so how do I explain this? Like so there's a couple options, right? So Peach can play grounded and then. Falco has to be worried about the mix-up of dash attack versus grab. Yeah, yeah. Um, Peach can also float, right? And she floats above the short hop laser height. And now the Falco has to, like, play around that. Um, yeah. Or the Peach can play, like, super defensive and go for, like, crouch cancel and sh shield and stuff like that. And so then the, P the Falco has to play against that. Now, Falco definitely has the options to beat all of those, right? It's just that the Peach kind of gets to control, like, where we're at in the game. And so if she's able to recognize, like, a weakness in you, like, as a Falco, if she recognizes like, a weakness in one of the phases of play, then she can just kind of force that over and over and you're in trouble. Yeah, definitely. I've noticed, like, Tierno kind of sticking, like, mixing up his ground and platform movement uh -huh. just to kind of work those angles that you were talking about of the flow and making sure that he's not, like, getting caught up, like, maybe just, like, short hop lasering or doing, like, a kind of over-aggressive aerial towards the Peach. Right. I think that's, like, super huge in this matchup as well, like you were saying. And just being able, like, you see him go to top platform just for a second, bait out something and react to what the Peach is doing. Yeah. One of the things that's really nice about uh, for Falco in this matchup is that um, he goes up really fast and Peach goes up really slow. Yeah. So anytime you like full hop or like instant double jump or whatever, it's super safe. Now you do have to deal with the fact that you have to come down at some point, which is pretty scary against yeah, Peach. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But um, like going up, it feels free, right? Like there's, there's very little risk of doing it. Yeah, I mean so. you got like a 10 foot vertical leap with Falco, you right. just shoot right up there with one full hop. Right, and Peach, I mean, she she takes her time on her way up, yeah, you know? Yeah, definitely. So it, it is one of those things where it's sort of, it's sort of I do it now to get out of stuff, but like later I'm gonna be in trouble. Yeah. Um, but it does work out in your favor, and we've seen Tierno take advantage of that a lot yeah. so far. I, what I do like Tierno just taking advantage of just there is like keeping Peach at ledge, because Peach doesn't really have many good uh, get up options at ledge and it's very hard for her to get out of that situation especially when Falco has a mix up of either lasering or just reacting to like normal get up um, but this is good too I mean Wavebringer keeping Tierno at the ledge now and just like kind of controlling the space I mean a lot of matchups like between floating and spaces I feel like are just who can keep center and keep the other player out and like between these two players it's about control and controlling the stage and like making making sure the pace is in their favor. Ooh, he gets the shine. Yeah. Oh, I love the option to just bail out a little bit but rather than going for like an instant punish. Yeah, Peach yeah. like is very tempting, right? Like she always looks like she's at a huge disadvantage, especially when you've hit her. But like in a lot of cases, you, like if you try to hit her again, she's just gonna kill you. Yeah. And so to, to give up that space and like try to catch a panic option can be like a really good opportunity. Oh, oh the bear the umbrella. <laughs> Back air? Oh, he could have dropped through back air, I think. But yeah. it's super spooky, right? Because you can't fast fall it, so. Or you can, but it's like really tricky. So it's Rough like very trade. scary. Tierno takes the first game. This is really big in the matchup. One of the things that's like tricky for Falco about the Peach Falco matchup is that Peach actually has three pretty strong stages in FD, Dreamland, and Fountain. Yeah, totally. So you have to win on one of those in order to take the set, at least. Um, so winning game one on Fountain is pretty nice because even now you get to go to either FD or. Uh, Dreamland, and both those are pretty bad for you. Oh, or you go back, which is pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, but even if he loses this, he's got an opportunity to play on one of his better stages, either Pokemon, Yoshi's, maybe Battlefield, if he doesn't yeah, like sure. the other two. I just assume, like, the straightaway FD ban, and maybe Wavebringer noticed that Tierno was using those platforms pretty well, and Dreamland is kind of a scary stage. Like, yeah. granted, you live forever as Peach, but, like, if the Falco's just going to go up to the top platform and camp you or mix up his platform movement as much as Tierno is doing, it's probably not worth it. Like, I think Wavebringer is also good in, like, smaller spaces. Like, he likes to scrap a bit for a Peach, so. Yeah, I actually, so when I play Peach, um, I prefer uh, I prefer Dreamland to Fountain or uh, FD because it gives me so much space to, like, get away from Peach, because she's slow both vertically and horizontally, Yeah. Um, if you have that space, you can kind of just get out of dodge for free whenever you're in an like, awkward position. 
And it comes back to like what you were talking about earlier where uh, you know, cornering your opponent is really strong. And so for Peach to have to work harder because the stage is bigger, it feels pretty nice. Yeah, definitely. Double down smash, Chirno gets caught by the clipped by the second one. Yeah. Peach classic. Always yeah. get clipped by the second one. No matter what. It's super important for Falco. So one of the things that's like tricky for Falco is that, you know, he wants to look for the shine, right? In order to shine, you gotta be holding down. Yeah. If you get caught holding down to a down smash, that's like 70%. Yeah, so yeah. it takes you, you have to be like really ready for it. Yeah. And there again, situation I was talking about, he just gets as close as possible and waits for whatever like option Peach chooses. It's probably gonna be bad, especially at high percent. Her normal get up is way worse than her regular get up at low percent. Yeah, and she just has she she kinda has no threats, right? Like it's really hard to threaten anything as oh, Peach yeah. from there from the ledge, so you kind of get a free mix-up. Ooh, I like that grab. Just waits a bit. Nice. Dashes back and gets it. I like Tierno's option to go to the ledge there. Uh, Peach can cover a lot of space there uh, near the ledge, yeah. but going, especially if she's not already ready to go out, uh, it's hard for her to cover that, that ledge option. Ooh, he gets the grab and the F throw. This could be an early game. Oh, just barely. Oh, but he tournament winners. Can Wavebringer make a punt? Make a pay? Oh, nice back air. Catch the. Well, catches Tierno's opportunity, uh, uh, attempt at a back air also. Yeah. He's able to close it out. All of a sudden, Wavebringer in the lead. That dare catches him. FOD stuff. Ooh, I like. It. That's a pretty risky nair considering like the Peach wants to crouch cancel. And I don't think she was like necessarily out of crouch cancel percent. For yeah. like a weak hit nair. That could have been like very dangerous for Tierno. I yeah. like the risk reward that he took there. Yeah, definitely reading the shield, right? And he goes yeah. for that late nair and uh, catches him with the shine afterwards. Now we see a late dare catching the shield again. Oh, Tierno's got a read on Waybringer shielding. Waybringer's got to like throw out a preemptive move and like clip him because yeah. he, he's coming. Uh, Tierno's coming in real deep, right? Yeah. With the, yeah, yeah. With the just open jump, so that he can throw out that late aerial. Oh, he catches the roll, but yeah. he can't find the final punish. Yeah. Dare, he's oh, tech he gets out time. of the corner though for free just with that tech. Oh, uh, he puts himself back in. I feel like the biggest problem Wavebringer has right now is he's kind of doing these panic options out of the corner, and it, in the end, he loses the game for it. A lot of times, I just saw him like kind of dash up, not necessarily like be so proactive to get out of the corner. Yeah, that was that was good stuff. You know, it was it was looking really close. Yeah. Uh, Tino, I think just kind of. That slight outplays, you know, like it wasn't yeah. like it wasn't like he destroyed him or anything, but he did kind of beat him a little bit. Yeah, I don't think it was like overly convincing or like yeah. ridiculous. It was just little by little, kind of edged him out with like playing his control style. But good on Tierno. It's really cool to see Texas like come out and actually do pretty well. Um, him and Albert have been making runs. Like you yeah, said, Albert, Falco's the name of the yeah, and, and Albert really. made it out in winners to top 32, so that's pretty exciting. Yeah, too. I believe he beat Ossify, another good yeah. uh, Michigan Falco. So yeah, we got both. Both of the, the big Texas Falcos are, are going to be making a scene in Top 32, which yeah. is pretty exciting. We're just waiting for Slime to come to his commentary block. Saw him two seconds ago, and then he left us. Yeah, he just bailed on us. You know, he was just like, oh, 